Hi, I'm Madeline James and today I am filming a bookshelf tour. This isn't quite a part of my like writing studio renovation video, um, but if you're curious and watching like the footage of me like setting up my bookcase and that sort of stuff, um, I can link those videos in the cards. But we're going to go through every shelf of my bookcases and I'm going to talk a little bit about like, you know, books a bit, you know. As a quick disclaimer, I don't really have a big reason for how I arranged my bookcases. I just sort of put them where I like them. It's not by color or by author. Um, and the only genre I have up here is almost exclusively fantasy, mostly adult fantasy, some YA fantasy. Um, I have more books downstairs, but these are the ones that make me the happiest to look at. And most of my TBR is on these shelves too. So there's a decent number of these books that are newer and I haven't read yet, but I'm excited. So let's get started. So the first books on my shelves are basically all of my Sarah Mass books. I really like Sarah Mass's books. I mean, they're incredibly popular. If you read fantasy, you've heard of them. Um, but her Throne of Glass series was actually the first series that I got my husband to read with me. And we sort of like, it was the first series that we kind of got to talk about with each other, which was really special. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah Mass. A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah Mass. A Court of Wings and Ruin. A Court of Frost and Starlight. A Court of Silver Flames. The Assassin's Blade. Crown of Midnight. Air of Fire. Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, Kingdom of Ash. After that I have a bunch of mostly YA fantasy books that I've read. Um, there's a couple of these in here that I haven't read yet. The Crescent City series by Sarah Mass, A House of Earth and Blood, and House of Sky and Breath. For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. For the Throne by Hannah Witten. Serfs by Madeline Miller. The Ivory Key by Akshaya Raman. An Illuminicrate book. The Shadow and Bone trilogy by Lee Bardugo. Shadow and Bone. Siege and Storm, Ruin and Rising, Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, um, and then the next shelf is Illumicrate Books. Um, again, I've read some of these. I haven't read some of them. My newest one is the uh, We All Fall Down. I just got that a couple days ago. The Woven Kingdom by Tara Maffi. We All Fall Down by Rose Zabo. Gallant by V.E. Schwab. A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. A Marvelous Light by Freya Marsk. And A Lady's Guide to Fortune Hunting by Sophie Irwin. And then on the next shelf I have a few more fantasy books. I have some of my historical romance books and I have my Avatar comic collection. Storm and Fury by Jennifer Armentrout. Rage and Ruin by Jennifer Armentrout. Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim.
The Ruthless Lady's Guide to Wizardry by C.M. Wagner. Unnatural Magic by C.M. Wagner. The Private Life of the Tudors by Tracy Borman. The Runaway Duchess by Joanne Lowell. The Tao of Pooh and the Tay of Piglet by Benjamin Hoff. The Avatar comic series, or part of it. And The Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully. And then down here are all fantasy books that I read a while ago, which is sort of why they're on a lower shelf. The Saltwater Air by Cassidy Clark. Breach of Peace. Breach of Peace by Daniel Green. Rebel's Creed by Daniel Green. Eon Dragon Eye Reborn by Allison Goodman. Iona by Allison Goodman. The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. The Iron Daughter. And the Iron Queen. Shadow and Flame by Mindy Arnett. Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett. By Lainey Taylor, Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Days of Blood and Starlight. Dreams of Gods and Monsters. The Bright and the Pale by Jessica Rubinowski. Essence by Mandy Lynn. And The Fires of Treason by Michelle Quirk. The top of this bookcase is all sort of epic fantasy series that I'm a big fan of. I still need to round out my uh, N.K. Jemisin collection a little bit more, but I absolutely love all of these books. By N.K. Jemisin, The Fifth Season, The Obelisk Gate, The Stone Sky, The Killing Moon, The Shadowed Sun, By Fonda Lee, Jade City, Jade War, Jade Legacy by Tamsin Muir, Gideon the Ninth, Harrow the Ninth. And then on the next shelf are fantasy books that I actually mostly bought my husband for Christmas one year and I've sort of been waiting for him to read them so I can read them. Um, I haven't read any of these yet but I'm really looking forward to them. The Poppy War by R.F. Klein. The Burning God. The Dragon Republic. Stardust by Neil Gaiman. American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman by John Gwynn, The Shadow of the Gods, The Hunger of the Gods, and then this next cell, and then this next shelf are epic fantasy series that are sort of in progress right now. I've either, I think I haven't finished all of these but I've started all of them and I've recently gotten the later books or I'm waiting for more books to come out in the series. You can see that uh, one of them is missing and I am currently reading that right now. Book of Night by Holly Black. 
by Andrea Stewart, The Bone Shard Daughter, The Bone Shard Emperor, by Chelsea Abdullah, The Stardust Thief, by Danielle L. Jensen, The Bridge Kingdom, The Traitor Queen, The Inadequate Heir, by Brian Anderson, The, Bl the Bard's Blade, A Chorus of Fire, Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, Well of Ascension is uh, missing, The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. The next shelf is a mix of adult and YA fantasy, and I've read some of these, but most of these are part of my TBR right now. By Django Wexler, Ship of Smoke and Steel, City of Stone and Silence, Siege of Rain and Ruin, Siege of Rage and Ruin, a Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne Brown. Capture the Crown by Jennifer Estep. Witches Steeped in Gold by Sienan Smart. Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhouse. Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Non. The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. And The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Just like the other bottom of the bookcase, it's mostly books that I read a while ago, but I kind of like still being able to look at them from time to time and be able to like remember the stories in them. The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. The Dead Tossed Waves. The Dark and Hollow Places, The Orphan Queen by Jody Meadows, The Court of Broken Knives by Anna Smith Spark, The Last Nemsara by Kristen Kikarelli, The Great Hunt by Wendy Higgins, Reign of Shadows by Sophie Jordan, The Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. Magic of Blood and Sea by Cassandra Rose Clark. Dragon Mark by Sherilyn Kenyon. And The Mirror Emperor by Cameron Hurley. But then last, right here up in the middle, I have my Wheel of Time book collection. And I'm not actually done reading Wheel of Time. I started reading it um, before the Netflix series came out. And then for Christmas, my husband got me all these books. If you saw that vlog, you saw how excited I was. Um, and I love these books. I love this book series. It takes me kind of a while to read. So I sort of like to read a few books and then read one of these and read a few books and then read one of these. So it's taken me a while to get through it, but they're also just very pretty. <laughs> I have one other shelf of books, which I'll just kind of show you really quickly. Well, I guess two technically, but we're not going to go through every book. This is my search of craft books and some of my writing reference books. And then down here, right above my desk, are some of the craft books I find myself reaching for the most. And I think those are all the books on my shelves. Um, again, these aren't all of my books, but these are the ones that are either TBRs or I kind of want to keep them where I can see them occasionally. I'm a big follower of the out of sight, out of mind thing, you know, not very much to my control, but it's how it works. So, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this book tour. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos, and I will see you next time.